Hey, I'm Dr. Taylor, and in this video, we'll discuss how to best prepare for your upcoming surgery. There are some ways that you can maximize your chance of a successful surgery and a quick recovery. These tips are especially important if you have any underlying health problems that put you more at risk for complications. First, let your physician know about red flag symptoms early. All too often, I've seen patients ignore these symptoms and bring them up the morning of surgery, leading to canceled cases or even worse, late diagnoses. There are some symptoms you can't afford to ignore, whether or not you're getting surgery, and that you need to let your doctor know about as soon as they occur. These include chest pain, difficulty breathing, or passing out, or syncope, some call it. Don't ignore these signs and symptoms. Next, stop smoking. Dear God, stop smoking. People who smoke cigarettes have an increased risk of post-operative lung complications. If you stop smoking before surgery, you have better wound healing and better lung function after your operation. When should you stop smoking? You can probably guess the answer is as soon as you watch this video. The research that's been done on this is often based on stopping about eight weeks before surgery, which is why our recommendations use this number. But again, the sooner you can stop, the better for your operation and your overall health. Next, get your blood pressure under control. Buy a home blood pressure cuff and keep a list of readings at home. If your blood pressure is above normal, higher than 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury, you should see your physician and work together to optimize your pressures prior to surgery. Number four, keep a list of medications that you take and bring it with you the day of surgery. Make a note of all the medications you take, including vitamins, and especially the medications you took the morning of your operation. Be sure to follow the instructions your preoperative staff provide you about what medications you can take the day of surgery versus when you need to stop medications like blood thinners and certain blood pressure medications. Some common blood pressure medications like lisinopril can make low blood pressures hard to treat when you're under surgery and under anesthesia. So we ask you not to take them the morning of surgery. But again, check with your team to make sure. Next, if you have asthma, see your doctor and optimize treatment before surgery. The good news is that well-controlled asthma seems to add little extra risk to your surgical outcomes. If you have poorly controlled asthma, maybe you need to use your inhaler multiple times a day, for example, you should see your lung doctor about possibly adding additional medication to your regimen before surgery. Same goes with COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which should really be aggressively treated before surgery. See your physician about optimizing your treatment with inhaled steroids or inhaled bronchodilators or medications that widen your airways. Next, eat a nutritional diet in the weeks leading up to surgery. Focus on a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and protein. Limit your intake of high fat, fried, and processed foods. Some studies suggest that carbohydrate loading the night before may be beneficial. Think of the surgery as your marathon. But make sure you ask your doctor before doing this though, if you have diabetes or prior surgeries that involved your gastrointestinal system like a bypass surgery. Next, seek out social support well in advance. It makes a huge difference in your recovery to have people around you that can help care for you. Seek them out before your surgery to make sure you have rides and visits lined up if you live alone. Now, if you have an upper respiratory infection, tell your doctor and potentially delay elective surgery. If your surgery is elective, meaning not super time sensitive, it's good to delay the surgery if you have an upper respiratory infection even your common cold, especially if your surgery requires placing a breathing tube. Again, share this information with your doctor as soon as you have symptoms and don't wait until the day of surgery. On a related note, avoid coming into contact with anyone who has COVID-19 in the weeks leading up to your operation. This is fundamentally because COVID sucks, 
But more specifically, if you're found to be positive in the pre-op testing area, you'll likely be forced to reschedule your surgery. Undergoing surgery while you're COVID positive, even if you're asymptomatic, not only exposes healthcare providers to the virus, which makes me sad, but also likely increases your risk of lung complications after surgery. Next, hydrate well before your surgery. Unless you have heart failure and your physician has strict guidelines for how much fluid you can drink, make sure to hydrate well in the days and hours before surgery. Current guidelines suggest that you can have clear liquids, including black coffee without milk, up to two hours before surgery, so drink up. Finally, and this sounds silly, but arrive to the hospital early. Not only does this help the staff at the hospital stay on track for their day, which I appreciate, it gets you done with your surgery faster. And who doesn't want to get the waiting period over with? If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, I'd be grateful if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.